Good morning. Today is June 3rd, 2024. I'm getting ready to go into work. Um, today is the first day of summer school and we start back today. So a couple weeks ago, the Lord had given me a open vision while I was awake. I was not asleep and I wanted to share that with you. It's been a couple weeks and last night it weighed real heavy on my heart and I felt like I'm supposed to share it. Um, I knew a couple weeks ago I would be sharing it, but I wasn't ready at that time to do it. So this morning I'm going to give you this word. And, well, it's not a word. It's a vision, an open vision. Um, take it for what you will. Whether you believe it or you don't believe it, it's your decision. And every person is required, if they hear something and it resonates in their spirit, then it is true. And if you're not sure, then you need to pray about it and ask the Lord to show you, is this true? Is it accurate? Or is it off? And it's up to you to decide. So two weeks ago, it was around two o'clock in the morning. I had waken and went to the restroom, got a drink. I went back in the bedroom. My husband and my two dogs was asleep on the bed. I laid back down and the room was dark and I didn't go back to sleep I just was looking around in the room and all of a sudden from my left eye I seen a hand come down and it handed me a piece of paper I took the piece of paper from the hand and I started reading what was on the piece of paper and immediately I had put my hand over my mouth and I was crying and I was like, no, Lord, no, please, please, Lord, don't let these things come to pass. Two things jumped off of the paper at me and it was like they were glowing or highlighted, but they popped up off of the page. And I'll tell you what those two things were in just a second. But I was crying and shaking my head and I was sobbing and I was like, please, Lord, don't let these things come to pass. As soon as that happened, as soon as I seen that, immediately it went to me sitting on the couch and watching the news. There was a lady, a dark haired lady. She came on the news and it said breaking news. And the lady started speaking and reading from a piece of paper. And I looked at the television and I, and I, said, Lord, she's reading the exact piece of paper that you gave to me. And then I went back and looked at the TV and listened to what she said. She was reading word for word everything I saw on that piece of paper. And when she got to the two things that I saw that glowed and popped up off the paper, it did the exact same thing on the screen, on television, and they as well popped up off of the piece of paper. She was sobbing when she was reading this paper and shaking her head saying, oh, I hope these things don't happen. And immediately it ended. So I was still awake in my bed and I was crying. I had tears coming down my face. And I said, Lord, please, please don't let these things happen. And I said, Lord, why? Why is the two things that popped up off of that page, why are they so important? And why can't I remember all any of the words, any of the things on that paper? I can only remember those two things. And immediately I heard him say, because in your spirit, when you were reading it, you could not handle what you were reading. So I'm going to let you remember those two things. And as they come, I will let you remember what else was on that paper. And then it ended. This happened so fast. It was, I know it took me a couple minutes to say what happened, but it happened so fast. It was probably a 30 second you know, thing. It just like was a flash and I had seen the whole thing. So the two things that I saw on that piece of paper, one, it said trucking industry. And the other thing 
I remembered that popped up off the page was $9 per gallon gas. So when my husband woke up, I told him what I saw and what God had shown me. And, you know, I don't know when. I don't know what's going on. I do know in my spirit, trucking industry meant all trucking industries would collapse. I'm not saying bankruptcy. I'm not saying any of that. I do know trucking industry represented uh, our food supply and all, all forms of transportation of any goods, not just food, but any kind of necessities to the people would be stopped. I do know that. Trucking industry totally shut down, collapse, $9 per gallon gas. So you need to go before the Lord and ask the Lord, is what she saw true? And how does that affect me? Or what do you want me to take from this? And if you just don't believe it, that's fine too. You know, you got to pray and ask the Lord, what does this mean to me? So the Lord is speaking to us. He has not shown me all that because he wants me to be like, oh my God, doom and gloom, fear, or God saying, here's one, let me scare the crap out of her really bad. That's not the Lord. The Lord shows us things in advance. So one, that we prepare and two, we're not in fear because the word of God says, I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of peace, love, and of a sound mind. I am of a sound mind. I am at peace. And I just have to trust in the Lord. So he gives us these things as warnings so we can prepare. Not so we can be in fear and in terror and go on and make videos and, oh my God, God's going to do this to all of us people. No. Judgment is for the wicked, not for us. We're going to be here and we're getting ready to see it with our own eyes. All the stuff that's happening with Trump we need to lift up his arms, just as Moses was at the Red Sea, bringing the Israelites across the Red Sea. Moses had to put his staff, hold his staff up over the ocean, and his arms got tired. He was weary. He had been through hell and back, just like Trump. We need to pray and physically say, Lord, as the, as the people had to hold Moses' arms up to give him strength, <clears throat> excuse me, we hold up Donald Trump's arms in the spirit. We hold him up. And Lord, we ask you to strengthen him. Lord, we pray that he has his road to Damascus moment and that he humbles himself and he bows his knee before you, Lord, and asks you to take over and to bring him through to this victory. An election is not going to change everything. An election is not going to save the United States. Donald John Trump is not going to save the United States. And he will be back in his duly elected position. I believe it's going to be before the scheduled election. But we have a lot to get through before we get to that point. I stand by what God showed me several years ago that this whole thing was stolen, but God will put him back. But it is up to Donald John Trump to humble himself. The word of God says, if my people, that's his people, not the people in the world, not the people that are, are satanic or worshiping Satan. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves. That means get on your knees, get on your face. Bow before the Lord and say, Lord, this entire situation, I submit it to you. I give it over to you. I cannot physically do this in my own strength anymore. And that's what, what Donald John Trump has been doing. He's fighting this battle. His, his lawyers are fighting this battle. They can't do it on their own. They have to have the intervention of the Lord. That's his road to Damascus moment when he finally says, Lord, I can do this no more. We will know when that moment has happened, when he comes on the television and he says that he has asked for the Lord's intervention.
until that happens, we know he's still fighting this. He's still taking this on as his own battle. And it's not. It's too much. Just like in my vision the Lord gave me, reading the paper, I could not physically, in my spirit, handle what I was reading. He said I could only handle those two things. Donald Trump cannot handle physically, mentally, and spiritually what he's going with, what he's going through. He has to ask the Lord for his intervention. And until that happens, this is going to continue. But America shall be saved. We are a covenant nation. Israel will be saved. The United States will be saved. There will be a time for Mark of the Beast. There will be a time for CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. But that time is not right now. It, this is a foreshadowing of what's to come. So we have to pray and ask the Lord, intervene. We want justice. Justice prevail. Justice come back into our land. Justice come. Thy kingdom come. The kingdom of justice come in Jesus' name. So I, I hope you pray and ask the Lord to show you what I have said is true or accurate. I'm not a prophet. Never have claimed to have been. I know I'm not one. But the Lord does speak to his children. If you have a relationship with Jesus and you know who he is and he knows who you are, if you have multiple conversations throughout the day, you invite him into your marriage, your relationship, your one-on-one -on -one with him, then he'll show you. He'll talk to you. He'll speak to you. I have a ringer on my phone, and it. I was going to the bank one day, and a song came on the radio, and I started singing the words, and the Lord said, this song is me singing the song to you. And I started bawling my face off going to the bank after I got off of work. And it is the ringer on my phone. And it is a personal relationship that I have with Jesus. And that's how he speaks to me. So if you have a relationship, I pray you do. Then ask him, is what she said true? And if it's not, don't worry about it. And if it is, pray into it further. Maybe he'll show you the exact same piece of paper. And maybe you'll get a little bit more of what was on that paper. So until then, everybody have a blessed day and continue to pray. We shall be saved. Amen.